keep that in mind. Yes, sir. Yeah. I'm careful. Thanks, mate. Be careful. Man, I got, I got suspended. Suspended? Yeah. For what? I can never keep playing on me. You know, uh... Oh, I heard. Yeah. Well, that's what, something... What, he, what, he came there six times today. Six fucking times. At, at, uh, That was a spider, but he fucking bugged on him. Uh, yeah, he came to City Hall six times. Today? Yeah. And he got on, the, the, uh, one time, uh... What did you do? Not a fucking thing. What's he saying? He ain't Richard really profile. saying anything. It's his racial profile. Well, that's, that's what's behind it, Trayvon Martin, you know? Uh, I got suspended for speeding. But you, you, you know... You had the guy over there on 431 with a car. Well, when I heard you, <laughs> man, that would have got the damn trailer. When, when I heard you check the VIN, you know, I, well, I, I, you know, I need to get on over there. You're way the hell over on the other side. And I knew, you know, you just had your son with you. So, uh. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I'm sitting again. You know, one, we've got an officer over there, you know, who don't know what's going on. And he's running the VIN, maybe he's stolen, or, you know. So I'm over, you know, hauling ass get over there with me. I'm way over here. So, I have my camera on, thank goodness. Like, because when I, it won't go off. Yeah, you turn the yeah to come it stays on. Well, this time it helped. So I'm going down 49, and uh, I start out, you know, 40, 50, 60. And get up to like 74, and there's nothing for three miles, not a car in either direction. And all of a sudden, I run up on this son uh, in this ragged ass little old Nissan pickup truck. And he's paranoid. He runs off the road, he back up on the road, and then he pulls over and stops. So, so anyway. I can't get by there. Damn. So anyway, he pulls over on 49. Well, there's no shoulder. There's nothing. We're right on the hill. I got on the PA and I told him, I said, go to the next driveway, which is the school up there. Just right up the crest of the hill. So he goes up there and pulls in, you know, and I pull in behind him. And I didn't, I, I didn't turn the lights on. Well, I turned them on then because, you know, I had him stop. So I, I go over and, and I said, uh, man, what's the problem? Well, before I, before, as soon as I get out of the car, he starts calling, man, don't write me no damn ticket. Don't write me no ticket, man. I can't pay no ticket. I can't pay no ticket. I said, hey, buddy. I said, what, what's the problem? I said, first of all, I didn't stop you. You, you stopped yourself. <laughs> well, you run up on me like that. You run up on my bumper. I didn't know what was going on. I said, look, I'm on a call. I said, you pulled over on 49. And I said, I'm supposed to come up here because it wasn't safe down there. I thought there was something wrong. No, man, uh, you know, I said, well, since you stopped, let me see some ID. See your driver's license. He hands me his driver's license, they're in two pieces. He's got duct tape on them, they're hanging down, you know. And I look, I said, man, I, 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 I'm going to have to keep his license. If I give you a receipt for him, you need to go to DMV and get your new license. Oh, man, shit, I was going to go. I was going to go last week. Well, they're nasty, funky, and tasty. You tell it's been that way for no matter how long. So, uh, I said, well, you can go now. I said, I'm going to give you a receipt for it. I said, that'll be your driver's license until you get, it, get a new one. He ain't much like that. So I went back to the car and I ran through records. Everything was clean. He got a, the city had a long driving history. Last entry was a ticket, March the 9th, in Robertson County for speeding. So I go back up there and I said, well, man, I've got a bit of a driving record. But Hello? Oh, she, she, she's on her way there right now. She had to stop. They put new, two new, we got two new tires on for us. She's on her way there now. She's on her way, she's on her way there now. Now, no, she's on her way there now. She had to stop and get a couple tires. All right. All right, there you go. All right, bye. So, anyway, when I, when I get out of the car, Eleven oh seven. That's affirmative. 
Uh, put us 98. We found the owner and he's moved this trailer. So uh, when I get out of the car, I mean, he's pulled up like this and it's black, the back window's blacked out. And I can't see how many's in the, in the truck or nothing. And, you know, I see this, this black truck. And, you know, he's already pulled over. I don't know why. So, you know, I do this something. I didn't put my hand. I do that on every track. I do too. I do here. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, you know, I go up to his window. And I'm, I'm nice to him and all that shit, you know. So I give him, fill out the, the thing, and give him a receipt for his driver's license. And he's still bitching about it, you know. I said, well, you know, that's just the way it is. Be careful and have a good day. Well, then he goes and sees the mayor. All the mayor jumps all over the mayor each day. The mayor's going to call me in and reprimand me and send me to a school where I can learn how to be courteous. Boy, Chief blew it out of his ass. If you don't fucking call him in, you don't say nothing to him. He's doing his job. Well, you know, the mayor, a liberal fucker, he's done, you know, here he's done made love to this damn nigger that lives in Springfield. Don't even live in, in Cooperstown. So now he's got attention, see. So he goes back, he don't get satisfied, so he goes back again to see the mayor. The mayor wasn't in. And uh, Kenny was there today. So Kenny asked him, you know, what, what's the problem? And he told him, so he called Chief on the phone. He started all this shit. Now it's gone on the speed. I run up on him at 100 miles an hour. When I stopped him, he said I was doing 90. Now he, he tells the Chief I'm doing 100. When I come up on him, it scared him, you know. So he, he, Chief told him, he said, well, he, he said, here's what you can do. You can fill out a formal complaint, put it in writing, and this is a sworn statement that you're swearing to. If it, turns out that it's not completely 100% true what you're saying, then this officer has every right to sue you. And so, yeah, man, I'll sign it. And then he, tell, he tells Kenny, he says, well, I, I got to see my lawyer before I sign that. So then he comes back again today, and he tells the girl up front that he, he won't see that tape. And uh, he filled out a, a note saying that uh, he had a legal right to it with the, by the... Uh, uh, or what do they call it, uh, Freedom of Information Act, you know. He's like, he's fucking lawyer in there, or he's talked to a lawyer or something, I don't know. Anyway, he leaves that note. He leaves and he comes back again. He tells he won't see the mayor again. Well, the mayor's not in, luckily. So he writes a note telling the mayor that he wants to see him about Officer McCormick. And, and uh, so, you know, the mayor, of course, he's going to eat that up. So the mayor wasn't in, but the mayor's back in now, but I ain't heard any more from him. So the chief, you the chief, he said, I'm going to suspend you one day without pay for speeding. <laughs> he said, he said, he said, really, he said, that's all I can come up with. I showed him, I pulled the tape and showed him the tape. I said, now, show me where I put the gun, held, held the gun. First, I pulled my gun, then I put my gun on him. And he said, you mean tell me that he pointed the gun directly at you? He said, uh, well, no, but he had a good gun drawn out. He had it out in his hand. Who's the lying motherfucker? All I did was, was just pull this ball, nothing else. And so the chief looked at the tape and he said, well, that lying son of a bitch, you know. He said, fuck him. Pretty sure he gives him freaking perjury. Well, yeah. Or, uh, 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 filing a false police report. See, it's not over yet. Now, he's made six, he lives in Springfield. He's made six trips down here to Cooperstown City Hall. Yeah, you know who called the media. 